Welcome to my tape on full contact karate. What we're going to do today is work on kicking combinations, kicking and punching combinations. Before you saw me use my kicks. Fine, I can also punch. And I'm a pretty good puncher, as you'll find out. But you'll be a good puncher too. Not doing a whole lot of combinations, but doing some combinations that work for you, as well as for me. We're going to do the combinations that I used in competition that made me a world champion. If I can do them, you can do them. Have a good time. Think about the combinations we're going to be using, whether you want to your right side forward or left side forward. The main thing to do is relax, have a good time, and let's get to it. We're going to work offensive techniques first. First combination is a very simple. What's the fastest technique hand combination that we have? A jab, right? It comes out here, goes straight out, boom. It's very hard to counter, and it's also the quickest technique we have. What's a good strong technique after that? For me, it's a side kick. So, what's our first combination? Jab into a side kick. Now watch, I'm going to throw you from the side first. This is my stance. You can either be here, but I'll use my particular stance. Remember, using my stuff this time. From here, I throw the jab, boom. My shoulder's protected, jab. My rear leg comes up from this position now. This hand comes back to protect, shoulder comes up. Knee comes up, side kick out, back, and down. Coming at the camera, from here, jab, up, side kick, and down. Now with a little bit of speed. One more. Okay, now working a jab into a side kick, we're going to create that opening. My partner takes his stance. Now I have to get him somehow to raise this elbow. So I throw the jab. Son of a gun, look at that. Boom. So the next time when I do it, he's not going to see this rear leg drag out. I step boom, from this position and back down. From here, slowly watch. Lean into the jab. See where the hands and the elbows come? Slide up. He's not going to see this. I'm sideways. Side kick in. Push him away and down. Nice quick movement again. Boom. And in. Now, don't just throw one jab. Set it up. See how he reacts. Boom. Boom. And work the movement. One more time. Now watch what happens. You're moving around. Throw any jab. See how the hands right? Here. the exact opposite. We just had the jab into the sidekick. How do I get him to react to the jab? I throw the jab. How do I get him to react to the sidekick? I throw the sidekick. So the movement this time is a sidekick into the jab. I slide up, throw the sidekick a couple times, right? Here. Next time, I knee up, step down, and just jab. And down. Slowly again, slide up, knee up to throw the sidekick, step down, and jab, and back. 
Now what we're going to do is we want him to drop those guards, right? My partner takes his stance. I slide up to the kick, and he blocks the side kick. But watch what he does with the elbows. Here, the hands come down. Look at the head. So the next time, all we're going to do and throw the jab. Again, from this position here. The main thing to do is not to throw the kick. Step like you're going to, then jab. And back. Again, a little quicker. From here. And finish. the mainstay of all boxing techniques, the jab into the right cross or the straight right hand. Very simply, you're here moving around, jab right hand. Jab sets up the technique, the right cross comes over and comes right back. Again, boom, boom, and finish. Boom, boom, and finish. Cross, cross, and finish. Boom, boom, and finish. Okay, real quick. Setting up this technique now, I throw the jab here, so he has to block it here. See, now I have a straight line moving with the straight right hand to the right cross. So we jab over and boom, boom, bam, and there it is. Throw the jab, jab, bam, right hand, right hand. A little quicker, moving around. Don't just throw one jab, but set it up. All we're going to do now is add the left hook to the jab, straight right hand, or right cross. So it looks like this. From here, jab, right hand. Now watch the left. Hook. Boom, boom, hook. 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 Nice and quick. Create the opening. Still creating the opening. Scoring.
okay, now we're going to set this up. Watch what happens. I throw the jab. See how he moved his hand to defend against it? Jab, right hand. Now you can see the right side of his face is open. That's where the hook comes through. So I'm creating an opening with both hand techniques. Boom, here. So I'm going, boom, boom, bang, and then hook. From here, bam, 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 bam. And the hook. You can take it to the body. Boom, boom. Hook to the body. Here. Or to the head. Boom, boom, bam. From here. A little quicker in combination. And hit. Remember, the hook comes back to you. Don't make it a wild swing. Boom, boom, boom. And it comes back. If you've got really quick hands or a very good jab, this technique works real well for you. All you're going to do now is throw the jab, throw the jab, throw the jab, just cock it now into the hook. Jab, hook, jab, hook. Very simply, you make him pull his hands forward, boom, and then come around him with the hook. Bam, hook. Okay, bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, boom. opponents to do now is move our hands forward. So when I jab here and he blocks, let's say, with his right hand, if you notice the right side of his face now is not protected. So that's when I'll jab here, come around with a hook. Very simply, jab, low, and then hook. Again, moving, moving, and hook. Come in here. Jab, hook. When this hand comes forward to defend, and this comes back, it'll stay there just for a second, then you come around. Jab, hook. Always come back with the right hand.
Okay, now we've been working the jab, so we'll continue working the jab. By now, our opponent will probably move back as we slide in for the jab. So if I'm moving in and jabbing and he's backing up a little bit, I jab, slide up, real simple little roundhouse kick to the tummy. So it's jab, jab, kick, and roundhouse kick. From here, jab, jab, kick, and in. Trying to get our opponent again to raise his arms. How do we do that? If we jab. See how the hands come up? Boom. From in. So real snappy, quick. I jab, jab, slide up, and throw the roundhouse kick. The kick has to come right after the jab. Don't do this. Because he's got his hands back to defend. It should be boom, boom. That quick. So it's from here, boom. And in. Again. And in. simple technique. Now, roundhouse kick to the tummy, straight right hand or right cross following it. Very simply, slide up, knee up, roundhouse kick to the stomach. As you step down, the right cross comes around and back. If you want to, you can slide up, throw the roundhouse kick, right cross, then come back with the hook. Remember, all these work in great unison together. One more time, watch. Slide up, kick, punch, hook. Or, now we can't just throw this technique and hope for the best. Remember, never leave yourself open. So create that opening. My partner takes his stance. What I'll do, first of all, I'll just pop it to see how he defends. See how he blocked with his elbows? I'll do it again. Boom. Next time, now I'll go and punch him. Or I'll throw it again and then come across. Basically, punch, hook. From here. Kick, punch, hook. From here. Kick, punch, hook. And it.
now we're going to do some faking techniques. My best technique is the roundhouse kick, so I'm going to use that to fake. It's also my quickest, so I make you react to the first one, which isn't really a first one, which leaves the second one into an opening, I hope. So from here, what I do very simply, I move around, slide up with a low roundhouse kick to the tummy area. Here. Next time I slide in, fake it, throw the kick high. All I do is make you think low. Here, and then high. One more time. Moving around, fake, and then high. Once more, fake, and then the kick. Moving around, throw the kick, and throw in the kick. What I'm going to do now is set that roundhouse kick up for the roundhouse kick high. My partner takes his stance. I want to get him to, to block low. Throw the kick in. See what he does with his right hand. Watch again. Here. How he has to drop that. The next time, I just and then work the kick up. Make him think low. Here. And then work the kick up high. Again. And then kick. Work low. Make him block. Now we're going to use the jab one more time. The jab is the quickest technique, so we're making the, our opponent defend against it. We're jabbing to the face. Chances are to put his hands up and lean his head back. He's got to lean his head back a little bit or move it to the side. If he moves it to the side, we want him to move it to that side because what we're going to throw is a hook kick. Jab into the hook kick. And then what happens if he gets out of the way of the hook kick? From here, we jab, 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 slide up sideways now. The knee comes up and the hook kick comes through. And down. So it's very, basically from here, jabbing, jabbing, and the hook kick. What happens if he leans out of the way of the hook kick? Jab, jab, slide up, hook kick comes through, then come back with the roundhouse kick. So it's from here, jab, roundhouse kick. From here, jab, jab, hook, roundhouse kick. And in. Here, working your jab. Make it react. And a hook kick. Again, jab, and again.
Okay, now, watch what happens when I jab. See how the head goes back a little bit and the hands come forward and the head goes back. So what I do is I'm going to slide up here, bring the leg up, and hook. From here, jab, here, and hook again. From here, jab, hook, and in. What happens if I miss? Or what happens if he ducks out of the way? Jab, hook kick, come back into the roundhouse kick. So it's from here, jab, big, and in. Jab, big, here, and in. This is my first really truly faking technique that I like to do. It's a fake hook kick into a roundhouse kick. Those of you who bought my first tape on kicking will be familiar with this. All I'm going to simply do is I move around here. I slide up, I just bring the leg out here. So you think it's a hook kick, or at least something coming to this side. All I do is I slide up, swing the leg up, fold it, and then the roundhouse kick out, and then down. So basically, this is how it looks like. coming on this side. So I step I slide it. See how this hand move? That's what I want. That's what you want. Because he's thinking that side. And then there's the kick. And there's the kick. I fake here. There it is. Fold. There's the kick. And down. So I move around. Maybe move the hands a little bit. And there's the kick. techniques I like for in close fighting is very simply a low left hook, a high left hook into a hook kick. We're here, we're in close. Not distance, but in close. The left hook low, the left hook high. Notice how I've turned my hips? There's the hook kick. So from here, boom, boom, and there's the hook. The low one brings his elbows down. The high one hits him in the head or in the glove. His head will move over, and there's the hook kick. And down. Slowly, a little quickly. Boom, boom, boom. Again. And hit.
slowly, a little quickly. Boom, boom, boom. Again. And hit. Okay, on this particular movement, you're in close. Not here, because he can hit me with either hand from the bell hook, right? So I want to either when I'm moving, step over to the side. Hook to the body. Here. Here. See what happens to the head when I hit high? Even if he protects it with the glove, boom, boom, the head moves. Then what happens? Wham, wham. I've already turned. There's the hook kick. And down. A little quicker. From here. And in. Again. And in. Once more. And in. On this particular movement, you're making your opponent seem like you're off balance, or at least make him think that way. All I'm going to do is slide up and throw a roundhouse kick face high and make it look like I lose my balance. What's their first movement to try to do? Try to punch you in the head. Watch my movement. I slide up, kick, and do this. My shoulder's protecting me. He sees the punch, or the kick even. As he moves in to throw it, lean back, and the hook kick. So it's from here, slide up, fake, look off balance, and then there's the hook kick. Once more, slide up, kick, lose my balance, and then there's the hook kick, and down. On this particular movement, distancing is very important. I don't want him to get too close to me when I try to counter him. So we're moving around, I throw the roundhouse kick to his head. He blocks it, and I lose off balance. That's his first movement, but you see where his head is. Look at his head. Look, right about there. Okay, we're working. I throw the kick. There's the kick. I throw the first kick, he blocks, and then there's a counter. It comes off the floor. I slide up, kick, step down. See how my close with my feet are close together? He comes in, there's the counter. One more time. We're here, kick, and then there's a counter. Once more.
to work on this one is good, strong body shots. Creating the opening because when I work to his ribs, he's got to protect those ribs with those elbows, right? Then from here, you come here nice and slowly, hook, hook. See how his elbows are spreading a little bit apart? Here, boom, boom. Right here, uppercut. See where the left hook is? Right through. So from here, let's just say throw four left, throw, throw hooking techniques. One, two, three, four, one, two. There's the movement. Real quick, right here. Okay, the most important thing is get those elbows down. Here, here, here. See where the right hand is? Right here, uppercut, right? Even if it doesn't hit, he's got to pull the head back. From here, hook comes over. Remember, hook comes over from here and pull it to you. Most importantly, pull that hook to you. Don't swing it or you hit up here. We want damaging shots. So from here, one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. Upper cut and hook. People try to counter me or try to beat me is to get inside my legs. Fine, here I am, get inside my legs. Number one, it's difficult to get inside my legs, but some people have done it. What happens is they get in here and now they're ready to go. Now this is my counter movement. All I'm going to do now is he's going to flirt. Bam, bam, bam. See, watch what happens. When he throws that right hand out, that means it's busy. When he throws it, that's when I counter. Boom. See, I got my eyes open. Here, throw it. Now, see the right hand coming out? Right there it is. When this hand comes out, here, there's nothing there. There's nothing on that chin. So I watch for that right hand to come out. Here, right there it is. Because all I do now is when he throws it, turn. Because that's just taking everything away. So it's from here he flurries. Right there's a the movement. And if I want to, the kick comes right afterwards. There's more to full contact rather than just punching and kicking. You have to learn to control your opponent to keep him from going where he wants to go, to be able to cut that ring off so your techniques will work for you and his won't work for him. When we're working with our opponent that does a lot of movement, we have to keep him from moving. 
I'm working with my opponent. He's working in a circle. So he's working in a circle here. So I keep in. I want to move at him, but every time I move at him, he circles. So what I have to be able to do is to cut the ring off so he doesn't come this way anymore. Then he starts to go back, and I can cut the ring off this way. Pretty soon, he's in his corner. Now he can't back up anymore. Now I can work my combination. Kicks, punches, bam, 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 and work the combinations. That's what you must be able to do. Cut the ring off. Make it four little squares. He's in my square. He's not getting out of my square. So I simply move over in front of him so he can't get out. If he moves the other way, I move over there. It's a shorter distance for me than it is for him. Okay, now watch again. We're here. He moves around. Come here. So I stop him from coming towards me now. He goes the other way. I'm here. Now I can work. stop him from moving around in a circle. You have to control his movements. Okay, now as you're moving, I'm going to cut the ring off on you so you can't get to me and you can't get away from me. You start to go to your right, now I'm moving around that way. Now throw a couple kicks or something so you got to get out of the way. Uh-oh, now you're moving the other way, so I'm going to cut the ring off. Boom, 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 boom. And now you're backing up. You're going the other way, so i got to swing. Boom, I throw a kick. you got to back up. Boom, throw a kick. We're moving. Now you're backing up. You're backing up. you got to look out. Boom, boom. You know, boom, boom, boom. Now you know what? You can't back up any further. You're mine. You're in the corner now. What we've covered in this tape is basically combinations, my combinations, the way I throw them. Not necessarily the way you throw them, but the way I throw them. Hopefully what it will give to you is some ideas, and that's all I want to give you is some ideas on maybe something that will help you in your fall contact career. Remember, 
work your kicks, work your punches, create. That's what you want to do, create. Be able to take five or six or seven techniques, both kicks and punches, be able to work those in combination to feel good for you. So where everything can become an instinct. Be able to work on the ring, be able to work in the ring, cut your opponent off, be able to work your counter movements, be able to work your offensive movements, be able to protect yourself. Remember, protect yourself before, during, and after those techniques. Don't get hit, it hurts, okay? And above anything else, have a good time, enjoy it. See you in the ring.